these gentlemen not so far out, but I know they are both very talented youngsters. And it's a testament to the picture shop drama school to see such fine athletes in our country. No, listen to them, look at it again, it's Ryan Bottom! What do you like about answer me something Max Card? These 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 guys are being riled up by children. Why don't they just ignore them? Because these children are irritating. They're being offensive and rude and there is no place for that. Look at this, I was expecting high flying, but so far we're starting off with technical wrestling. Look at this, Drew Baker. Flips out of it nicely. Like I say, both these men are not very experienced. They've been training for a very long time though. They know what they're doing, they know the way round the ring. So good. look at this, all on the arm there by Joe Gray. I was expecting this to be high five. This is not what I was expecting. I was not expecting this one to be on the ground. Right, it shows that there's a lot of depth in these young men's games. Yeah, that you're completely right, that's right. They appear, they appear to be more feathers in their cap as well, than just one thing or another. Oh, listen to it again. <laughs> that's a fair point. I was, gonna, I was actually going to say, Ryan Bowen is a strict vegan. So all that prime muscle that he's got on him, going to without animal fat, or animal protein even. Look at this, once again he tries to go with it, going on, go on, David, on the arm, once again. Fantastic, I love it. Got a decent amount of people then, for raising money for this storehouse. Thank you so much for buying this DVD because all the money, all the profits from this DVD are going to the storehouse. In my pocket, uh, the, the storehouse. Yeah, we're not the storehouse. We're not going in your pocket. Come on. Don't be silly. Look at this now. Oh, on the arm again. Takes him down. Takes him down on the arm. Technical wrestling. There's, there's a, there's a look at that. There's a veteran instinct there from Ryan Bowman as he puts the drapes of foot over the rope. That's, that's, that's impressive stuff from Ryan. Yeah, it is. It's such a new kind of exactly. Listen to this crowd. Listen to the crowd. They're loving it. And they're calling Ryan Bowden a chicken. He is no chicken. Is he a spring chicken? Uh, well, he's he is quite, uh, how old is Ryan? He's in, you know, he's in his early 20s. He's in his early 20s, I do believe. I think both of these men are in their early 20s. Oh, wow, that was big, me. Jerry Vega, he's got to be hurt. He was in a war last, just last week. With, uh, he teamed with Zach Gibson to take on Cyanide and Tebow in a huge match. He must, he must, he must be still hurting from that. He must be. This knock now. Irish whip now by Joe Vega. Oh! Ryan Bowden with the shoulder again. Well, he's going for a shooting star, not already. No way, surely not. With this leap over the top. Oh, oh, oh it's a lovely, lovely arm drag there. And the double one. It's been all. Oh! I was going to say, it's all on the arm. Look at this now. This he can have Joe Vega exactly where he wants him here. I think so. Referee Darren will utilise a 10 count and he's up to two already. Look at this. Like the Vega. Well, I can see him go for a baseball style. So now he's going to chase him around the ring. They get back inside and back in favour of Ryan Bowie. He tripped him in there. Lord, in there. Really, I like this gentleman. Ryan Bowden laid in with the boots, and again, he's got, to, he's, got to stop, he's got to stop these children getting to him. He's got to stop him. Look at this, they're choking in the corner now. Referee's got a five count. Ryan Bowden breaks it at four. You can't, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't condone that, surely. I think as long as you don't go over the five count, it's perfectly good. Stretch the balls a little bit. Big boot, Ryan. Well, you're choking him in the corner. What's this? Oh, body there by Joe Baker. It's an indie cross body and that gets two. Fantastic manoeuvre there. I must say I'm very impressed with Joe Vegas. What's this? What's this? Why is he why is he begging for why, why is he begging here? Why is he doing this? Maybe he's hurt. Maybe he's hurt. Oh come on! Brilliant. How is that brilliant? Because that, ladies and gentlemen, is intelligence. That is the thinking of a winner. Literally he's holding that arm. All that focus from Joe Vega in the beginning on the arm. All that work is fixing on there. Now on the outside. Referee Darren has got the 10 count. Starts with one. Tries to slam his head. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. Oh, God. I don't like them being on the outside here. 
and it sounds like on the apron especially wow do you see the way his face bounced off the apron man that's a big close like on the outside that's that blunding will hurt even more maybe some carbon on there but that ladies and gentlemen is concrete exactly steel concrete sorry that's not steel concrete it's concrete so i'm channeling my inner jim ross there now joe Vega. where is joe Vega? he's going up top i don't like the look of this this could be a risky maneuver Ryan Bow. Oh my goodness, man! No! The huge crossbody off the top. Wow! Wow! They call it high risk because that can be risky if it doesn't work. But that time the risk paid off beautifully for Joe Vega. Did you see that hand time, Joe? Oh. Vega? Just thinking exactly that. He was in air. He was in mid air for such a long time. So if you still believe that Joe Vega is going to win this match, what is a cover? No, Ryan Bodum is going to win this match. I don't I would like Ryan Bodum to win. He is my friend. He was down there. He got But I am impressed by Joe Vega. I think he st certainly stands a chance here. He got the shoulder up there. Did Ryan Bodum. That, we were only talking before about how experienced they are. He could have got the big slam. That. that was a big slam in the middle of the ring. And now... Joe is not going to go up top. He is. He's going to go up top again. This man has no fear. No! Oh, 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 oh. Disqualify him, ref! Come on! That, you have, what, can I explain that, please? That was a little bit disgraceful at least. Shove the referee into the ropes, and that means that Joe Vega is knocked off the top rope. Not a bit person. It was very clever. I mean, I. I it's, it's once again, it's, it's experience beyond his years. I wouldn't say gone, but at the same time, it's that win at all cost men mentality that someone like you would respect, that I don't respect. Oh, I respect it. Yeah, you would. I remember your in ring days and you do things like that. I, say, I, I just like winning. Choke you in the corner again, again. Any shortcut, any way to cheat, Ryan Bodum is taking it. He's slowly weakening Joe Vega. That's the point. That, I was gonna, the thing is, I was just about to say, that's the point. He is weakening him. He is weakening him down. One, two, out of the corner. Joe Vega gets that up. He's going a bit faster, Come on. Ryan Bowden telling the referee to count faster. I thought that was a perfect three count match, or two count. He was carrying a perfect race. Not too fast, not too slow. Referee down, one of the best in the bit. Oh, face into the turnbuckle there. Oh, you see, he's letting them get to him again. And now, listen to this crowd, they're going to get behind Joe. And here for the suplex. Ryan wants the suplex, but Joe Vega into a suplex of his own. One, two, is that enough? No, that gets two. What is it going to take for Joe Vega, in your opinion, Max Kimes? What is it going to take for him to get Ryan Bowden down? I'm not sure if he's going to be able to. I'm, I'm very impressed with the, uh, shall we say, intestinal fortitude this gentleman is showing. Oh, yes! I do believe Ryan Bowling has got this. Massive, massive, well, another cover. As you see there again, that's it, about the point I was trying to make before. Joe Vega could have grabbed the, the rope there. It uses a lot of energy to lift that shoulder, because we're not just lifting the shoulder, we're lifting the other man's body weight. All you need to do is touch the ropes. That comes with experience. That does indeed. That comes with learning, with time in the ring. That becomes second nature to you. Another suplex, though. Another one. It's just suplex central here tonight. A new I've checked. I love you, suplex. I'm a massive suplex fan, so this is just bliss for me. I just wish that it was Joe Vega doing the suplexes and not Ryan Bodum. Now look at this. This is not a good position for Joe Vega to be in. He's going to try and reach the ropes. Look at him trying to reach there. Referee Darren making sure that's not a chokehold. Will the wind be taken out of Joe Vega's sails here? I don't like this. I don't like Joe Vega's chances here. Vice like grip of Ryan. Go on. Wow, look at this. This is showing incredible strength and incredible depth there. I don't know how he's managing to do this, to be honest. A lesser, well, I know I keep saying this, but a lesser man he probably has been choked out of that. How Joe Vega's doing this, I have absolutely no idea. Listen to the crowd, look at that child, then ripping him again. 
And now he's got him exactly where he wants. Now big leg drop. That's got to be a carnage. That has I, got I to be it. So. Here comes the corner. Academic. One, two, and no! Oh, goodness me! Surely he kicked out. How did he kick out? I, I, don't, I thought a, a big leg drop like that, that's just going to get the win. That's just how it's going to be. And once again, look, this is very clever from Ryan Bowden. All the weight, all the body weight of Ryan Bowden on the back while he's got him in that, in that hole. Big punch to the back, big clubbing blow. But somehow, look, where's Joe Vega getting this energy from? Oh. These men have been going for about 10 minutes now, something like that. They must must be absolutely exhausted. They've both taken so much punishment. But what is it going to take to get the win here? Will it just for definitely or just be one quick move? Oh, you see, ripping the fans again. Look at this. There's a big line goes on by Joe Vega. Oh, the heck of a gas tank. I can't believe that enough. And it's a fury by Joe Vega. Come on, guys. The fans firmly behind Joe Vega. You saw we heard Ryan Bowden coming for a shooting star presser. I'd love to see that, I must say. As much as I, oh, oh! Double hit, a big punch to the jaw, an insiguri. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was absolutely stunning. Here's a cut. One, two, it must be this not. Thank goodness for that. It's actually not. Come on, Ryan. Wow. Unbelievable. I am very, very impressed by both of these gentlemen. It has to be said. Joe Vega now calling for a DDT. And listen to the crowd. The crowd won the DDT as well. Are we going to see this DDT? Look at this. Ryan Burnham with it. Amazing. You may know that as a side effect if you're a Dory fan. One, two. Oh, 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 oh. Even that doesn't get it. Could that have been closer? And another one. Oh, that doesn't get it either. What is it going to take to put Joe Vega down, Max Carnage? You know what? I'm not even sure anymore. Ryan Bodum is throwing everything at this match. Everything he can. And nothing seems to be working because Joe Vega digs down deep every time and is somehow able to kick out. And now what's he going for? They're going to see a super kick. They're going to see something out of this car. Look at the way that Joe Vega is having to use the ropes to get up. Bodum means business. Comes charging in. One for the big boot. Oh, and a big kick to the stomach there. And now we're going to see the DDT. His finishing move, the slice bread number two. Oh, in the middle of the ring. Is that going to be enough? If he can quit, if he can roll him over. Turns him with the half glass and one, two, and three. Oh, he grabbed the rope. Brilliant. That's brilliant. I thought that was it. I thought that was it. I thought that was enough to get the win right there. But it's not. Ryan Bowden holds on to the rope. He wants the DDT. We saw him hit the size spread number two. That didn't get the job done. But this time again, the crowd, they want the DDT. I fear for Ryan here. Can Ryan, can Ryan escape it? Goes for the DDT. He's going to be, oh! My goodness me. He went for the, I think he's going for a tornado or a springboard DDT there. What's this? Oh, his feet are on the ropes! His feet were on the ropes! Oh, that's a lot. The ref just hit. What makes you really go? Oh, excellent. Excellent. Oh, I, I suppose I should applaud Ryan Burton for the ingenuity to use the ring rope, but he cheated. The fact of the matter is that he cheated to get the win. Joe Vega threw everything he could out, even the size bread. I think Ryan Bowden knew in his heart that he couldn't get the job done there. Very possibly. Very possibly. Listen to his fans again. Listen to the fans. 